Hi everyone, uh, we are uh, getting into the stray rounds of uh, states. Uh, uh, many of the states uh, have not allowed candidates to register fresh for the stray round but there are some states which are opening up registrations or which have opened up registrations karnataka has opened up registration for the stray round we'll look at the karnataka stray round notification now uh, towards the end we will also take you through uh, how to look at information in uh, Zynerd for KEA choice building, what all information is required majorly is available in Zynerd. In case, being the last phases, it is always advisable to look at the information and then take a wise decision. Uh, KEA is notified yesterday on the registration, fresh registration for stray round. Note that this is very critical. There are 460 PG medical seats. Many of them might be non-clinicals, but uh, there are quite a few clinical seats too based on mop up round uh, unallotted allotted and did not join candidates round three allotted and did not join candidates and those candidates who were allotted an all india mop up and their seats got cancelled so that is around 460 medical seats pg medical seats and 37 dnb this is only for in service candidates this is not for other candidates so Basically, if you are not an in-service candidate of Karnataka, then 460 PG in medical seats still remain unfilled. Many of them are government seats too. That has also been published earlier itself on 30th or so. Whoever did not join and then there are the 63 seats, sir, which are uh, AA round 3 allotted and cancelled. So, they have provided an, an option to register fresh now. You will be able to register now. Uh, till 19th 6 pm which is today 6 pm. They put up this notification late yesterday evening. So, you have time for another few hours to register. We have our demo. There will be a lot of issues in registration. We have our demo in Zynerd for KEA registration. You can have a look at the demo. You have to appear for verification and dep uh, deposition of original documents. Note that only if you register, if you are not already registered, no problem. Whatever be your status, if you are already registered, if you are eligible, directly choice will link. If you are not eligible, not eligible. You have to have your documents deposited at KEA. So that is how it is for already registered candidates. If you are registering today, then you have to go to KEA by tomorrow 4 p.m. and then ensure that all your documents are submitted over there at KEA. This is by 4 p.m. tomorrow. Those who have registered uh, already but you took back your documents or registered already you are eligible but your documents are not there. You got the verification slip second round you did not go third round you did not go. You can still go ahead and submit your documents by 20th till 4.30 p.m. So again re-emphasizing uh, see uh, uh, Re-emphasizing what we have already mentioned, already not registered, you have an option to register till 19, 6 p.m. Don't wait till the last minute, KEA is bound to have issues. Quickly go ahead and register, you want help, we have a demo for subscribers, you can also go through that. Fees mentioned is registration fee, oh, you have to submit your fees, there is no 5 lakhs fee as it is mentioned. Last year's was completely different, right now what KEA has mentioned is, you first register. After registration, we will put up the guidelines for the stray round. If at all a caution deposit is required, they did not do that in mop-up round. If at all a caution deposit is required, they will let you know. Right now, nothing is to be paid except for the registration fee. Based on which, uh, whether you are uh, from Karnataka, or outside Karnataka, the application form. The registration form will ask for a registration fee. That is enough to be submitted. But ensure that you submit it quickly at the earliest. 19th or 20th till 4 p.m., you can submit your documents. So, you have to go to KEA Bangalore, you have to get your documents, original documents verified and you have to submit your documents. Zynerd again has videos on what document is required for what class of candidates, who is eligible for what class, everything is available. You might not have, you might have minimal time. If you want information, you can also call us. If you are a subscriber, you will be able to get that information quickly on which class you will fall under. Uh, and uh, KEA mop up eligible candidates. Uh, uh, whoever was eligible for KEA mop-up, this is not fresh registrations, we are closing fresh registrations uh, information here. KEA mop-up eligible candidates, whoever is eligible for mop-up is supposed to be eligible for stray round now. There is some confusion going on, but if you are eligible for mop-up and you have joined, straight away go ahead and fill choices. If you are eligible for mop-up and you did not join, you might be able to fill choices still, that is what the rule says. And if you are eligible for mop-up and cancelled your seat, we still think the High Court order mentions that you are eligible for KEA uh, stray round, wait for tomorrow's guidelines or uh, today or tomorrow they might share the guidelines and notifications. Now we will quickly look at how to look at Karnataka related information in Zainan. First thing is about the registration, right? What helps you in registration is two things. One, you can go to the video section, uh, type Karnataka over here. You will have the 
complete uh, information on Karnataka, all the videos, you go to latest videos, you will see the registration demo videos over here. All you need to do is check by check saying regi say, uh, registration demo, you will have the registration related videos. There are two videos with respect to registration. One is a registration demo. There will be a lot of issues. That is why we critically are running the session now. Between now and registration, in case you are doing a fresh registration, you will have a lot of registration related queries. All the errors that we have come up with, uh, that usually candidates come up with, have been mentioned over here. So you are getting pop-ups, you are getting errors, it is not taking you to the next step. Most of them would be covered here uh, in the registration demo and in the common errors that we put up right during the time of registration. There are new errors that may pop up too that we may not be able to uh, identify within the short time but we will try our level best. If you give us a call, we will also try our level best to check and give you a solution on that. Now that is as far as registration is concerned, considering the criticality. Next is the document verification process. Over here you see the last three videos which are document verification. What will happen during document verification at Karnataka is clearly listed. If you are going for document verification today or tomorrow and the class wise document re required, you will be belonging to a particular class, class A, B, C, uh, D, E, F, G or Y, Z, etc. That clauses, what are the documents required and the annexures required for the particular document submission is also mentioned over here. For document submission, you might have to take annexure 1 and 2 originals that possibly you will get in case you miss it at outside KEA that is also available. So this is the first step. Second, if you not want to know what, else, what all are possible, etc., uh, you can always look at Karnataka, Karnataka PG Medical and here just under closing rank, select Karnataka PG Medical and select 2024. Zero is the mock, up, uh, mock, uh, mock round which Karnataka contacts. You can possibly look at round 1, 2 and 3 and then select the quotas that you are interested in. In case you are interested in uh, the management quota seats of Karnataka, just open uh, here and say open and MNG quota seats. These are seats which are open for every candidate across India and Karnataka and you can see view results over here. You will see the closing ranks. These are all All India ranks. Which seats closed at what rank and if you want to go back and see last year where in stray round uh, these seats closed etc. You will also be having a reference over here. It may not be a direct reference. At least it will tell you let us say uh, the previous year these were the seats available. Second it will also tell you some seats closed at let us say 60,000, 65,000. These coming at 180,000 may not be possible. But these be being available in case they are in the vacancy list. These being available at 40,000, 50,000 might be possible. So that reference point at least exists here and the second thing that you have an advantage over here is in terms of clearly knowing the preferences. So if I am taking MS General Surgery and I am looking at the open seats which are existing today uh, in uh, Karnataka, I belong to the open category. You can select GM category or any category that you are uh, looking at and you will see the list of seats that were available in Karnataka and these have been uh, the closing ranks over here. This will give you a preference order kind of. These three seats were allotted in round three, they, therefore they are sorted first. But if you want to sort at round two, which was the last upgradable round in Karnataka, so you can select closing rank 2024 round two, it will clearly sort you and tell you among the general surgery open seats, this was a clear preference by candidates. This will be reflecting in previous years too. You add on 2022, this will be reflecting. So if you are filling choices for Karnataka, this closing ranks will give you an idea of what possibly is a better seat. You will at least clearly know that these seats that closed above 70k at open category, they have a higher fee structure over here and for the rest of the seats which have a 12 lakh, 13 lakh, 13.8 lakhs fee structure, these seats are completely different from those that closed at 20,000. That means that reference point is available for you if you don't have uh, right information during the uh, stay round. This you can do for any state. Right now we are sharing it for Karnataka. For the other states too, we will run a session on how to look at the preference orders of candidates to get a preference list if you are not if you have not evaluated anything yet. Uh, this you can uh, take it through a subscription. It is available at 499 in Zainer uh, plus GST in Zainer. This will be available till Jan uh, 5th, 28th. And also beyond that, let us say uh, in the month of March, mid, they open up a uh, uh, special stray. When they open up, we will open up access to subscriptions again and your call support and email support will be available. You can get this information from Zainer. So you have the videos, you have uh, take, uh, use the videos if you are already a subscribed candidate to let, get, get to know what are the uh, documents required later to and what is the process of counselling. And in case you want to look at the closing ranks, you can have a look at the closing ranks over here. The vacancies will also be available uh, if you look at uh, uh, Karnataka. The notifications will give you the vacancies over here. The earlier vacancies published on Jan 31st was av is available here. Here, but uh, uh, you will also be looking at additional vacancies uh, 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 when uh, they put up the notifications and guidelines. You will 
you'll have all the information over here. And uh, as a subscriber, you can also call us at any point in time. If you have subscribed to Zainal already, please call us for any queries or clarifications. We'll be able to help you out. The only probable confusion exists in, is in terms of mop-up cancelled uh, uh, candidates, mop-up seat, uh, joint and cancelled candidates. They might be eligible, but there is some issue going on. But uh, go, hopefully the guidelines will clarify all that. Thanks a lot for watching. All the best.